describes how material nature is in three modes. Goodness, passion, and ignorance. So, we are here in the material world, we have to associate with the material energy. We associate with the ignorance, and then we will develop the qualities which are there, which are associated with the mode of ignorance. In a, a bar or in a casino or some kind of place like that, that's the mode of ignorance. And you live in the city, that's the place the mode of passion. And you live in the countryside, that's the mode of ignorance. So you can see here today we are more in the countryside here. 
இந்த இடத்துல நம்ம இந்த இடத்துல ரொம்ப வாகனங்களாம் பராயணம் பண்ணுறதுலாம் கிடையாது அதில் ரொம்ப அமைதியான சூழ்நிலையை நம்ம பார்க்கலாம் அவங்களுக்கு சும்மா நிற்கிது உணரலாம் but when we live in the city then we see it everywhere highways traffic lot of noise adhi nagar nagar parama irukkana andha edathile enga kaadiga traffic jam a irukum adhu romba satham aga irukum meri edatha andha irukum so there we are associated more with the mode of passion adala unga romba rajishikula thanmaiyila irupanga everybody lives in apartments எல்லா எபார்ட்மெண்ட்ல தங்கி இருப்பாங்க யாரும் பார்த்துக்கட மாட்டாங்க If you go to places like Hong Kong everybody lives on top of each other ஆ Hong Kong மேல நகரங்கள போனா ஒண்ணு மேல ஒண்ணு உட்கார்ந்து இருக்கு மேல போனா அமெரிக்கா அதுக்கு மாதிரி You look out the window into the next building இது தரந்தனா அடுத்த பில்டிங் தான் நம்ம பார்க்க முடியும் இது இருக்கு பார்க்க முடியும் There's there's no not there's no space there's no fresh air nalla kaal nalmar kaat irukadhu nalla edam irukadhu andre but you live in the mode of if you live in the place like where there is bar and casino and so on then you are associated with the mode of adhe nerthu namba indha mari bodhai sundara edam andre namba vande thamasudukila namba adhigamaga namba idupadra mari sumaiya irukku so we have to be very conscious of the environment no namba gavanam kudukka vendum namba soolnalai indha meri soolnalai namba thangirukkum bodhu namba mukkiy thodukku even the, the food we eat where it comes from it's affected by the modes of nature namba unavu saapram bodhu andha unavu kodai enga irundhu varugirathu andha unavu porthi namba odi gunangalum maarapadum adhigam the grow the grow the vegetables they grow the fruit everything is grown in a mechanical way vandu yerkiya madam seerkiyaga undaki kondirukkaru nagaram paramilla they don't allow things to do grow naturally avanga yerkiyaga varudha avanga kalai pannikitte seerkiyaga romba aaru undukanga they will use chemicals and insecticides and so many different rasayana purama paathu unavugal thayar pandranga I was in the Cameron Highlands and we met one Indian man and he brought us to his farm and he was proud to show us all the vegetables he was growing. Cameron Highlands <laughs> mode ஒருத்தர் வந்து மகாராஜ வந்து அவருடைய ஒரு தோட்டத்து கொண்டு போய் காமிச்சார் என்னென்ன அவர் வியாபாரம் பண்றதெல்லாம் ரொம்ப காமிச்சி ஃபீல்பேட்னார். He said we want all the vegetables should be the same size and the same shape. எல்லாம் ஒரு ஒரே அளவுல ஒரே and then he can send them to singapore and he can get the food price from the supermarket ah inga irundha singapore kuda ore omani anga irundha nalla price kadikum bodhu adu tayar panniduranga so everything was done in a mechanical way like a factory and all ellam irukkaram seerkiyave kiri padithi ellam ore alavula varra meri avanga romba seerkiyila edu panniduranga they didn't allow the fruits to grow naturally the porul kuda yerkiya varadhu avanga kaathirukka mudiyilla everything is artificial ellame artificial na seerkiyave illa porul adha angiye paaka mudiyum so the result is the fruit does not have the same value it doesn't have the same taste it doesn't have the same benefit adnala inda unavu ke palangalukku முன்னேற்றத்துக்கு <laughs> 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 
They want to make everything in the factories. They want to make even the fruit and the vegetables. They want to make them in the factory. They don't want to allow us to eat anything natural. And all the good land which was meant for growing vegetables and fruits, it all became land for factories. But gradually the factory becomes useless. One day the factory will close down. They build the factory, but after some time then the, what the factory is producing becomes no use and they close the factory. And the people who go to work in the factory, then they have no job anymore. Then they go home and they don't know how to grow the food. They only learn to work in the factory. They don't know how to go in the garden, they don't know how to go yeah. in the fields and produce the food. And when there's no food, then all the people will go hungry. Everybody will starve. So very important, everybody should, we should know how to use the land. In Penang, they are very proud to have the microchip factory. But you cannot eat microchips. We want to be able to produce food. We have to grow food. It is very important for us to learn how to live on the land. And we have to grow food and we should be able to grow food without using a lot of chemicals. We say organic, the vegetable should be organic. Now, when you get buy vegetables, you go to the supermarket, everything is just so much chemical. And we need to also take care of the cows. We should have nice cows which give milk. So these things are lacking in the modern society. So Srila Prabhupada encouraged the devotees, he said, uh, don't depend on these factories. Uh, for some time you can work there. But it's not, you won't work there forever. One day the factory will also close. And then you'll have to go back. To live on the land. So we should be ready for that. You should have some land and you should be able to produce the vegetables and all these things. 
அதனால் அது வந்து அட்மிஷனுக்கு ரொம்ப செயற்கையான வாழ்க்கையில் நம்ம மொழி இருக்க வேண்டிய அவசியம் கிடையாது So the modern society, the way they're going, the way it's developing, you can see it's going to have more and more troubles, more and more problems. We had the big problem for the last three years with the COVID virus. And then you had the war with Russia, go to war with the Ukraine. Always a threat of war, China and India, or China and Taiwan. There is always the threat of the breakdown of peace. There will be no problem. And then there will be no food. All the men go to war, there's nobody to grow the fruit. So we should be ready for all these problems which will come. We have to have some nice food to offer to Krishna. Krishna likes to have the natural fruit without all the chemicals. And we should have cows to give nice milk. You go to the supermarket and buy the milk, it's not fresh milk. It's all artificial. Natural living. Natural living means the most. We don't depend on money, we depend on God. நம்ம <laughs> <laughs> Every day, just take care to put some water, to pull out some weeds, and the plants grow very nicely. So we want to live in the mode of goodness. And we want to cultivate the qualities of the mode of goodness. Just like we have the deity here, so the devotees are worshipping Radha and Krishna. So that's the business of the Brahmana. Worship the deity. And we also study the, the scriptures. Of course, somebody, you may have a job, you may work for to work for some. But that work is not going to be forever. Go to the city, live in the city, and then come home from the city. <coughs> so when you go to the city, then you are associating with the mode of passion. And every weekend or once a month, 
you come home from the city, you come back to the Mudra Kutra. So actually, you're better to be here than to be go to the city. Be here, you have some land, you grow some vegetables, have some cow. In this way you can meet the needs of life. You can meet your needs, you can get everything you require. Oh. In Srila Prabhupada's time, Prabhupada had in Mayapur, we had handlooms and we were spinning, making cloth, cotton. Mayapur la Prabhupada had made sonamave thuni gode aunga, oru vaki thuri neeyad gode absar naga, fitri endu. Yeah, get the cotton and the, the ladies would sit on the handle and yeah. make the cloth. So, Prabhupada liked that we, would, we could do these things. We could. He said in the future, even he said, you may not be able to get paper. You have to make your own paper. Paper? Paper, you have to print books. Oh, print books. So we don't know how long everything will go on. Because technology changes. A hundred years ago there were not all these cars on the road. So in a hundred years time, fifty years time, things will be different. Because the nature of the material world is subject to change. Just like we depend on petrol, but petrol will become finished, it will be finished in some more years. So now some countries, they're developing their, their countries so that they don't have to use petrol. We're depending on petrol, we depend on things like oil, and coal. Coal. petrol. So they have to find alternatives to use it for, for all these things. You have to find some other way. Because the sun is giving heat, so you can use that heat for generating electricity. So that way we can depend on nature, make use of nature. And it creates problems for the planet. So you can see the human, you know, we have not done any. Now you have to purchase bottles of water. Who knows, in the future maybe today you have to purchase a can of beer to do without God. So the 
by the grace of Krishna everything has been provided on the planet. And everything which comes from Krishna is also perfect. So we have to just be careful to live according to God's laws. Don't take more than we need. Don't use more. Don't just take your quote. Be satisfied with whatever is provided by the grace of God. In that way we can be in the mood of goodness. Yes, then it's easy to come to devotional service. But if we're in the mood of passion and ignorance, then it's not so easy. Okay, <laughs> Forced to living in the apartment and this that, how the then we can still practice the, the Vedic culture according to the nature. Because you have uh, we are forced to live in this kind of situation like a, a development country, Singapore, is the same in the same in city life. Then how this youth is to maintain? Well, they have to chant Hare Krishna. They have to study the scriptures. They have to chant. Devotional service can go on in any condition. How to practice spiritual life? We have to chant Hare Krishna. It's the same process for everyone, wherever you are. Whether you live in the city or you live in the countryside, you have to worship Krishna, you have to chant the names of Krishna, and you have to read the books about Krishna. You may be working 12 hours a day. You're working 12 hours a day, then still there are 12 hours left. So you're working 12 hours, maybe you're working more than 12 hours a day. But you have to chant, you have to hear about Krishna. Uh -huh. Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. All the glories to Srila Prabhupada. Guru Maharaj, just now you mentioned that um, whatever the Lord creates uh, is complete, it is perfect as well. Can you please explain how this material world is also perfect since we have, you know, death and disease and all those things? Yes. The world is perfect and complete, that everything is here for your maintenance. 
everything is provided. Not only are you provided for, all the living entities are provided for. All the birds and all the insects and animals, they all, they all get their food. Plant has to eat kilos of food every day, and they're getting their food. And the little insects, they have to eat little grains of sugar every day, and they get their food. Who is providing for them? They are provided for by the grace of Krishna. So yes, there's there's disease, there is death. That is the laws of nature. So you give up one body, you take another body. You die, you give up one body, you take birth again in some other body. That's a perfect arrangement. Everything is provided here for you to worship Krishna. So the flowers are growing. The fruit, fruits are growing. The grains are growing. And they grow. You plant the rice one year and then next year you can plant again. So for thousands of years they've been planting the rice, it's been growing. He doesn't say, I'm not giving you any more rice this year. Every year you can plant the rice at Moon Grove. You can see when the child is born from the womb of the mother, immediately the milk flows in the breast of the mother. She can feed the baby her milk. That's the arrangement of God. Before the birth, the milk is not there, but as soon as the baby is born, the mother's breast will feed milk to the baby. And the same with the cow. The cow gives birth to a calf, and the cow will feed milk for its calf. That's the nature. Who's nature? Nature of God. He provides for everyone. So perfect arrangement. We create the problems. Okay. Okay, any other question? <laughs>